So, in the last couple of weeks, by the way, thank you for watching this when I got <laughs> a mouthful of provolone and cheese. So, in the last couple of weeks, I've had a very, um, but a few very interesting experiences in substitute teaching uh, at these two schools that will remain nameless in the districts, which will remain nameless. But if you know anything about Michigan schools, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to guess where and what district they're in anyways. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Uh-huh. So this verse was last week, Tuesday. I went to a school that's basically a dump on the northeast side of Grand Rapids, Michigan, where a kindergarten, a five-year-old, on the stairwell, mooned me. And what am I supposed to do? He wasn't in my class. He mooned me. A five-year-old pulled his pants down and showed his ass to me. Okay, and then another class that I was in, there was a young boy. He was a third grader. He took his purple crayon, and he was doing one of these numbers. I will use a fork. Want some? Ah, want some? Using his crayon as a joint. Where the hell are they learning this thing? Where where did he get the idea? And my guess is older brother, older sister, older cousin, dad, mom, grandma, grandpa, friends down the street. Somebody taught him that that's how you smoke a J. And here he was, nine years old, smoking a crayon, a wax purple J, in my class and offering it to me. Anyways, that was the easy one. This week, this week, on Wednesday, I was called a motherfucker by a fifth grader who I was trying to help read. And I had a pencil thrown at me, not tossed at me, not tossed towards me. This kid, third grader, threw it at me. And it was sharp, and it almost got me in the face. He threw a pencil. What the hell? And I'm getting paid less than $10 a freaking hour to deal with this crap. In my left arm for a classroom. The devil is in substitute teaching. I'm telling you this. If you ever become a teacher, find a good school. Kiss the teacher's butt as much as you can. Try to get as many days as you can with these kids because someday you'll have to go into the dregs of the schools. And then you will know. Then you will know the horror and the terror that is dealing with unfamiliar kids. Okay, I've got to get ready. There's an awesomely spectacular 90s tribute show tonight at Billy's in which my band, Four for Smoking, will be playing. I play lead guitar in that band. Even though I'm not very good, the songs that we're playing are great, and the other bands are going to be great, and it's cheap, and they have good beer, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So you should get down there, because I'm going to be down there. I will not hug you. I will not touch you. I probably won't even talk to you or pretend that I like you, but you should be down there anyway because you want to support the Planned Parenthood, you know, the condom pass-out place where they're going to give girls pills and all kinds of jib-jab to stick in their hootie-hoos so the guy's BBBB won't make them deek 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 like that. Anyways, later.